Hello, in this video, I'll be explaining how to implement the quantile regression in Stata. Now, before we start, I would like to explain that the quantile regression is, is of two kinds. The first one is a quantile regression with fixed effects, and the second is a quantile regression without fixed effects. So, today I'll be explaining the quantile regression with fixed effects. And before I start, I would like to explain that the quantile regression, for you to estimate a quantile regression model, your, your number of cross sections must be very large. Apart from that, the quantile regression helps us to estimate the impact of one variable on another variable across different quantiles. So the command for the quantile regression with fixed effect is the XTQ range. Okay, now I want to estimate how the log of GDP per capita and renewable energy influences CO2 emissions across different quantiles. Okay, this is your point. So to do this, I have the XTQH command, the log of CO2 emissions, the log of GDP and renewable energy. And I want to use five quantiles here. So I'll be starting with um, the 10th quantile, which is 0 0.10, the 25th quantile, which is 0 0.25, the 50th quantile, which is the median, and it's 0 0.50. The 75th quantile and the 90th quantile. So this is the command here. You don't need to estimate the quantiles one after the other. You can simply include all of them together and it will produce the results for you. This is the command here. And what you do is to click enter. Now these are the results. These are the results here. These are the results. So we could see from the results, from the results, we could see how renewable, how GDP and renewable energy influences CO2 emissions. And we can see that the influence of GDP on CO2 emissions is more pronounced in the 10th quantile. And this means that increasing GDP would increase CO2 emissions in more in countries where the initial level of CO2 emissions is low, which is the 10th quantile. And you can see that in the 90th quantile, for instance, it's still significant by the probability value. In the 90th quantile, the result is showing that increasing GDP would increase CO2 emissions, but Compared to other quantiles, it is, it is increasing CO2 emissions lower. And this means that increasing GDP would increase CO2 emissions lower in countries that already have a high level of existing CO2 emissions, which is at the 90th quantile. So to explain this or to put this into a better perspective, now the first quantile or quantile 0 0.1, 0 0.25 and 0 0.1 and 0 0.25 are based on countries with low level of CO2 emissions in this context, while quantile 0 0.75 and 0 0.9 are countries with high level of CO2 emissions. Now let us check out how renewable energy influences um, CO2 emissions across different countries. So we could definitely look at the coefficient values. Okay, this is zero minus 0 0.033. This is minus 0. 0 minus 0 0.030 this is 0 point minus 0 0.027 this is minus 0 0.024 and this is minus 0 0.021 so we can see that across the across the contours the impact of 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 renewable energy on gdp on co2 emissions declines so you can easily explain this by saying in countries where co2 emissions are low which is the first quantile is 0 0.10. Renewable energy have a more pronounced impact in reducing CO2 emissions compared to countries with a high level of CO2 emissions. The impact of renewable energy, it is still positive. It is still positive, but it is not as pronounced in mitigating CO2 emissions compared to in countries where CO2 emissions is, is, is relatively lower. And this is how to interpret the quantile regression with fixed effects. The major way to interpret them or to interpret the quantile regression is to look at the coefficient values across different quantiles. And of course, you also need to look at the probability value. 
in case some some might be significant and some might not be significant so you have to also look at the probability values the the most important as i have said is to look at the coefficients and the probability values in interpreting your quantile regression